Hello everyone, Georgel here, and we are continuing our playthrough of Super Meat Boy. Now, last time we played, we got through the hospital, and bringing us now to the salt factory. Which, uh, well... Alright, there we go. I vaguely get the sense that the animation budget ran out halfway through that, uh, that particular cinematic. Because, I don't know, I feel like... Actually, were the intro cinematics to the... Actually, that's probably the most elaborate intro cinematic we've had so far. The, the forest just had Dr. Fetus punching my girlfriend, and the hospital was just like, Oh look, in the distance, he's fluttering towards the hospital. And that actually went well. Okay. I, I'm so used to the animations that play when you defeat the bosses, which are actually pretty elaborate. So, let's get going. Meat Boy, obviously. Gotta have that speed. And what is special about this? Can I go this way? I cannot. I don't know what I'm trying to do right now, but I'm not doing it very well. So, oh look, salt. And death. So, a couple of things. First off, uh, I'm bad. Second off, uh... You may notice that I sound different right now, that's because Shay actually got me a brand new microphone for my Christmas gift. So, uh, if you appreciate the new sound quality, you can thank him for that. And if you don't appreciate the new sound quality, um, well, you know who to blame. So, in fairness, uh, my old microphone was like 10 years old and very cheap even when I first got it. So, I am not even remotely doing good right now. I, okay, time to get serious. Enough commentary! Because everyone knows they're just here to watch me be awesome at oh, games. Right, me awesome at games. That could happen. In some parallel universe. Oh lord, I don't know how to do that one. It's like, I obviously I need to touch it and I need to get away from it. <clears throat> it's a lovely time to have a frog in my throat. So, if we move up here, get up. Get down, get jiggy with it. There's a little, uh, there's a little block that I can land on there, just to the left of the salt pile. I wonder if I need to land on that instead. Uh, let's see how do I. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to do that. I'm not sure what the proper way to do this one is. You can tell that um, now that we're in the third world, even the usually the entry levels have been pretty easy, and um, in the third world, not even the entry levels is that easy. Although compared to how the rest of this level will go, hey, there we go, great A plus. Compared to the rest of the, uh, the Salt Factory, I'm sure that this is probably very easy. Because that is how this game goes. It just climbs and climbs and climbs great mountains of difficulty. What the... Okay, I probably need to go up, but I want to go down first. Hey! That's why. Because usually if they give you a choice of where to go, you can make poor life choices and end up in a stream of salt and die. But also, there might be a bandage that way. I do think it's very clever that it's the salt factory for a couple of reasons, because it's, uh, it's sort of punny in this sort of way. It's the salt factory in that it manufactures or produces salt. Uh, I guess you don't really manufacture salt, but, uh, but yeah, it produces salt, or in other words, it makes you salty. It makes you regret all of your life choices. It makes you weep salty tears. But not only that, uh, the salt factory is also kind of interesting, because you use salt to cure meat. And uh, by the time we're done, maybe we'll have Super Jerky Boy. By the time we're done, maybe I'll stop being bad. Perhaps I will stop failing so dramatically at these levels, but... To be honest, I don't see that happening. I'm pretty sure failure is just the name of the game. That's not true. The name of the game is Super Meat Boy. And my failures are absolute. I don't know what I was trying to do there. I do that every once in a while. It's like, I, I'll jump somewhere, and it's like halfway through, I'll question my decision and think, maybe I should not jump in that direction. Maybe I should jump the other way. And then I'll turn around, but I've already lost so much momentum that I can't go back to where I was. So I try and turn around back to where I was going to jump to originally. But that doesn't work out because I've already given up all that momentum. And it's just like, it doesn't matter what I did. So long as I committed to a course of action, I would have been fine. 
but I didn't, so I die horribly. Okay, now we're doing better. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that sucks. I have to rein in a little bit of that momentum there. Which, oh gosh. You know, the other episodes, I think that in the other episodes, uh, the, the shortest I've gone in a single episode so far was the ten levels at the beginning of the hospital. Compared to that, uh, the first episode I completed the entirety of the forest in a single go. In the third episode, I managed to complete the rest of the hospital, but also a couple of warp zones and a boss. So, I mean, ten levels is sort of like, if I can beat ten levels, then I'm sort of beating my previous worst. But I'm sort of expecting that you might be seeing this particular level a lot this episode. And a lot of this is self-inflicted, because again, I'm being completionistic and trying really, aha, really hard to get bandages! Ugh. And a lot of my deaths thus far have been in areas that I would only be, I'm only in this area because I went for the bandage. And if I didn't go for the bandage, I would be okay! Oh, I was not okay. Obviously, some of the deaths we're getting into now, now that I'm a little better versed in these, in the downstairs where the bandage is. <sighs> that was dumb. Now my deaths are starting to get up in the area where I would have to go anyway, even if I was just going for the level without getting this bandage. Now, as I continue, right now, it's like... This bandage doesn't seem that bad. Like, there's bandages that are, like, inches away from saw blades, and bandages that are just, like, nigh suicidal to get. That This bandage isn't that bad. I've skipped some bandages before, but this one doesn't seem particularly awful. Uh, my gameplay is certainly not fantastic. My gameplay can certainly use improvement, but the bandage itself it seems fine. Uh, this is a thing that if I get the bandage, I'm almost certainly going to have to do the level again if I want grade A+, plus, which grade A+, plus, I've actually been pretty good about completing. I've skipped some bandages, but as far as I know, I've actually gotten grade A+, plus in every level so far. And I'd like to keep that up, because... And you know what? I don't care that much about the bandage. I just want to move on with my life. Look at that. Look how much easier this is now that we've just decided to ignore the bandage. What? How is that not grade A+. Plus? I have 8.3 seconds to do this. How much did I do it in? Oh no, I'm gonna miss it by like... Uh, about a second. Okay, well. I did say that I was gonna commit to getting these grade A pluses, so... Oh, and, oh, and, oh, oh gosh, oh, that worked out better than I expected. Oh, okay, if that's not grade A+, plus, I don't know what is. There we go. So yeah, you know what? Bandages, we're probably not gonna worry about them too much. Grade A+, plus, I wanna get. This level, I don't know what it is. Oh, conveyor belts. Oh, conveyor belts. Oh, I'm gonna have to end up doing this level again if I actually succeed this go-through. That wasn't so bad. Oh, God, I have to go all the way back. Oh, and I have to fight the conveyor belt this time? Oh, no. Okay. Well, now I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, and... Oh, okay. And now I have to go wait all the way back. And that is going to be the tricky part. Oh, I'm making it... Yeah! Great A+. Plus. There you go. That level actually wasn't too bad. I mean, it seems sort of daunting, but... Just so long as you're sort of confident in uh, knowing where you'll land with each jump, you'll be fine. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I did not see that. Oh! <laughs> okay, I thought that conveyor belt was going the other way, for one. Okay. Oh, hi. We're just not going to question how I got through that unscathed. Come on, get done. Yeah, great A+. Is there a bandage in that level? I did just say I'm not going to worry too much about bandages, and oh, heavens. If you got that bandage, wouldn't you just die? I don't see anywhere to land down there. Hold on. Yeah, really, I... I actually do not know how that bandage would be possible to get without dying. Unless you can actually land on part of that. Let's not find out. Let's move on. Uptown. Uptown, funk you up. There's a warp zone right here! Oh, that was really dumb. Oh, interesting. So this is... Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So somewhere there's a key, and if I get that key, oh, there's a key and I have to get to it fast, because that warp zone doesn't stick around. Okay. Oh. Oh, 
we go. Where's the key? Did I miss it somewhere? Hold on. Ah. I am legitimately not sure where this key is. And I guess warp zones aren't really the the end of the world if I don't get it, but where's the key? Is it out here somewhere? Uh, I know I shouldn't care, I just it shouldn't matter to me, but it's like I wanna know where this key is. It's gotta be somewhere. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend all this time trying to figure out where the key for this warp zone is. I'm gonna do the warp zone and immediately realize it was not worth it, and I'm I don't see this key anywhere. That's hmm. Wonder if maybe it would go away with the warp zone? Hold on. I don't think it would, but We would have to restart the level to get the grade A plus anyway, so. Okay, well that's grade A+. Plus. If I watch it in the replay, can I see the key, maybe? It's, it's gotta be somewhere. Oh, I wonder Oh, uh, I wonder if this is one of those levels where like, it drops off the side of the map into oblivion, like it did that one key for the one warp zone back in the hospital. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll not worry about that for now. If I feel... Oh, gosh. If I really feel committed to completionism, then eventually I will... Okay, this, this level doesn't seem too bad. Just have to be. Oh, okay. That might be a bit of an issue. Hey! Great A plus! Yeah, not bad. You just gotta make good use of the conveyor belts. Just in time for the great A plus. That's how I like it. Mind the gap. Oh no. What's down here? It's death. Okay. Uh, no, that's not gonna work. Oh, warp zone. Interesting. Okay, so I think I need to use this to get enough to, yeah, get up here. Okay. Now that I've done that, I need to get back down here to get over. Is that right? It seems like it would have to be. Ah, okay. Wonder if maybe if I wait just a little longer here, get a little lower. Yeah, there we go. Now, about this warp zone. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to jump there. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be one of them games. One of these levels. I made it over in the first try, though. That's nice. Okay. Now, how on earth? Oh gosh, it disappears if I'm not past that, too. Oh, there's... Is it possible to get on the other side of this belt? That doesn't seem like it would work to me. I don't know how you get to that warp zone. We're probably gonna get a lot less completionistic about warp zones, too, just because they're starting to get really hard to actually get to. Like, the last level, there's a warp zone, I have no idea where the key for that is. This level, there's a warp zone, I don't know how you get to it without just dying. Maybe... Well, I'm just complete this level with the grade A+, since we're right here. I wonder if maybe there's some way that you... Like, some other platform, like, down below somewhere. I didn't see one. There has to be some other way to get to that, though. I don't know. If I'm feeling really committed to being a completionist, at some point, maybe after I've, like, completed the game or something, I'll come find out- OH GOSH! MISSILES! OH! OH NO! OH NO! Oh. Okay. Okay, moving. Oh, okay. Moving. OH! There's another one there! Okay. Okay. Woohoo! I like this better when there weren't missiles! Oh dear god. What was I saying? Oh, right. If I feel really completionistic, maybe I'll come back eventually, like, after I've beaten the game, and I'll find all the warp zones that I didn't complete. What the hell? Oh, no. I have to get up here? Uh, oh, no. Okay. Come on. Lift me up. Ugh. Ow. Okay. I need to get up here. Okay. When I say get up here, I mean touch the conveyor belt in a way that I will actually get lift. Neat boy. Oh. Okay. If we jump a little earlier here. Oh gosh, that was close. Come on. Yeah! Oh, I have to go back. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's not so bad. That's just. Okay. Great A. Plus. Doing it. Rocking it. Yeah, what do you know? We might actually beat the uh, 10 levels of the hospital. Look at that, we're already on the 10th level. 
Okay, so what's special about this? That's a missile launcher, that's a missile launcher, that's a missile launcher, that's a missile launcher. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Okay, we just have to proceed calmly and rationally. Let me go down. Oh, okay. Hey, there's a bandage. Oh, no. I don't think that bandage is worth it. But I'm going to make some poor life choices and go for it anyway. At least this time. It would make a lot more sense if I... That bandage is surprisingly hard to get just because it's right in that corner. You don't wall jump at an angle that makes it easy to get that. Okay, we're going to... Pick these up first. Oh gosh. Okay, I definitely feel like the way to go about it is you want to stand on the blocks that disintegrate first. Ugh. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to do this twice because the grade A plus on this level is probably really strict in order to enforce that you can't uh, get the bandage and the grade A plus in the same go. That's my expectation. It might actually might not actually be true, but we're gonna find out. That last... I don't know. I feel like I should be, like, more mobile and, like, trying to avoid the missiles here, but if I'm gonna... Well, I already said that I'm gonna get the bandage separately at the Great A+, plus, so I guess I might as well just be mobile. Okay. Shoot again. Okay. That's a bandage. So, you know, that one wasn't so bad. We can get that one. Let me play the level real quick, and... No, grade A+. Because grade A+, plus, I really want to keep getting grade A+, pluses as long as I can, because... Ugh. I don't know, grade A+, plus to me, is something that, like, I feel like I can do it, and it is an accomplishment to do such. I feel like I can speedrun in Super Meat Boy pretty well. Because there's a certain degree to which... For the most part, going slow in Super Meat Boy isn't that helpful. A lot of the challenges in Super Meat Boy are... Time based. They, they're really encouraging you to go fast. Ugh. Although clearly I'm not going fast enough. Okay. Yeah. See, I was doing that before, and now I can't. Uh, the price of my completionism is catching up to me again. Come on. Dun 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 dun. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the next one. And already we've beaten... Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, I have a moving wall of death here, and I'm not terribly fond of it. Oh, gosh. Uh, no, go up, go up, go up. Move your... Okay. Well, I survived. But I didn't get grade A+. Plus, and if I don't get grade A+, plus, that's surviving, but it's not really living, is it? Oh, we can go again. And up, and up, and dead. Uh, I should have seen that coming. Okay, we need to be... Okay, I was just saying that going slow isn't really worth it in Super Meat Boy, but that particular place, I think you actually do need to go slow. Create a plus! Nice. Okay. Moving on. The dumper. Oh, God! Wow, they do not give you much time there at all. Oh, gosh. Ugh. 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 Oh, this level's just cruel. There's a band-aid on this level. Well, grade A plus, there wasn't a bandage on that level, was there? Cause if I if I shake my magic eight ball and ask it if I'm gonna get that bandage, it's gonna tell me hell no. That doesn't look like there was. Okay. Moving on. Oh goody. Okay. Ah. I mean, this one doesn't actually seem that bad overall. It's just that I'm getting a little impatient. If I just wait a little longer here... Yeah, then I'm fine. Now, I do need to make sure... Oh! That was dumb. Okay. Yeah, again, impatience. I was saying that going slow doesn't usually help you that much in Super Meat Boy, but that doesn't necessarily mean that reckless breakneck speed is the answer, either. There we go. Great A+. Plus. The grade A plus in that level seems a little meaningless, though, because it's like... It's really the only speed you can accomplish it at. You can't really go any faster or slower in that level. 
Well, whatever. Gertie. Okay. I assume it's named that because there are many moving girders. The, uh, interesting to note that... Interesting. Ow. This level doesn't seem that bad. I keep waiting for, like, the catch to this level. It is interesting to note that Gertie is the name of one of the bosses in the Binding of Isaac. Shay actually just recently uh, started a playthrough of the Binding of Isaac, and I'm wondering if I can get up here. But yeah, Shay just started up... <laughs> yeah, that was pointless. Shay started a playthrough of uh, the Binding of Isaac uh, Rebirth, or I guess technically Afterbirth. It's Rebirth of the base game that he's playing with the Afterbirth expansion. Yeah, he's got that uh, playthrough of him playing and dying a lot, as you will in an Edmund McMillan game, on the channel. So, yeah, go check it out. Shameless self-promotion goes here. Is it really self-promotion? I mean, it's, it's self-promotion... Self-promotion in the sense that it's, I'm part of the channel, I am promoting my channel, that doesn't seem like the way to go. It's not my video, though. It's like, it's like nepotism, I guess. I mean, I'm going to tell you to go check out this thing because my friend did it. It's not really nepotism. I don't know. I'm really surprised I got the grade A plus on that one, because I actually, uh, I hesitated on that one jump there. Oh wow, less than a half second left between grade A plus and not. Uh, oh, that was not at all what I was expecting. Okay, so I guess I have to just wait for this. Oh no, I don't. I need to. Oh no. Come on, go away, go away. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, forget you, Gerger. Gonna make my own path, blaze my own trail, wait patiently for you to arrive because I don't have an option there. Oh, oh no, oh no. Uh, I didn't realize I needed keys there. But now I do. Now I know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! We are not endorsed in any way by G.I. Joe. But if they want to pay us money, we'll totally take it. Anyway. <clears throat> got him. Oh no, I got impatient. I thought I could make it. I thought I could be a contender. I can go right up for that right away, though. Okay. There we go. Great A+. Plus. But again, I mean, there's only so much speed you can do that level with. I mean, I, I basically went as fast as I could, but even if I was going as slow as I could, the slowest possible way to clear that level basically arrives there at the same time you have to wait for the girders. So great A+, plus doesn't mean that much on... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What am I... Oh no. I need multiple keys. And <laughs> we're running out of... Okay. We're running out of wall to jump on. Oh gosh, I just... I screwed myself over so hard there. I just removed so much of the wall. Okay. Oh! Okay. Come on. Jump, 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 jump! Do it! Oh, okay. I did it! Uh, but not well enough. I need those great A pluses, man. Uh, I need them. Well, okay. Let's try that again, but with less bleh, bleh, bleh and blood and explosions and... It gets hard to speak when you're dying super hard. I like how they include awkward little gaps in the wall just to mess you up. Oh. Like, there's no real reason those gaps need to be there, except that they know that one in every five playthroughs, you'll try and jump at an area that doesn't exist, because they just didn't fill in that particular block. Oh, but, hey, great A+. Alright, the Grundle, oh gosh! Okay. What do I need to, oh gosh, there's a key all the way up <laughs> that was really dumb. Okay. Uh, maybe this is one of those levels where I need patience. No, it's not. Go fast! Uh, oh no, I need to wait for the thing to finish anyway. Okay, I just need to... Okay. Did it! Doing it. Done. There's a bandage up there? How the hell do you get that bandage? We're not gonna find out. I don't care enough. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Dig. Dig, Super Meat Boy. Yeah, dig over on this side where the missile launcher is not gonna hit us so hard. What am I actually trying to accomplish here? What did it do for me to get down here? Woohoo! Oh, I didn't do it with enough speed, enough gusto, enough vim, enough vigor. There we go. 
Well, I mean, the level's done, but... Not well enough. Okay. Uh, damn it, damn it. Uh, it, 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 it. I clearly need to not stand there when the missile lands. Okay. There we go. Do it over here. <laughs> that did not go according to plan. Okay, okay, come on. Up, up, and away! Oh, come on! Screw it. Ow. Ow. Ugh. Right in my feelings. This is just ridiculous, come on. Like, this is the most frustrating. It's like, I've already done this level. It's like, I know I can do it, but I'm just... spontaneously being bad. Come on, just... I bet this looks really dumb on the recording, too, because it probably looks like I'm just standing there waiting for the thing to kill me. Which, I mean, I sort of am, but ow. But, like, there's, like, a thought process going on in my head that makes it, like, I think it's going to disintegrate fast enough that I'll get away from the missile, and it's just not working. Oh, wow, I just barely dodged that one. That's the sort of stuff that I'm sort of like, hoping is going to happen, though. Ugh. There we go. Don't even touch my controller. There we go. Okay. White noise. This level looks fun. Uh, okay. There is a bandage up there, and I need a key if I want to get it. Oh, there's the key. Do I care about this bandage? I mean, that... In contrast to some of the other bandages I've seen, that one actually was not the worst bandage I've ever seen. I mean, I would have to get back up, but I mean, I can do that. No, I don't. I need another key. Where's the other key? Right behind Bandage Girl. Okay, well, BRB girlfriend dying in a puddle of salt. Damn it. It's not really a puddle, it's like a mound or a, a, a hill, a mountain of salt. A pile, maybe. Wow, could you remove those keys any slower? You know, I think I actually had the right idea the first time when I thought I could go back for the uh, bandage right away, and that that's probably the safest place to wait for the... Okay. Doing acrobatics and stuff. Ugh. Messed it up at the end there. And that time I messed it up at the beginning. What the... Did, did that really seem like I should have died to you guys? Because that seemed like I should have died to me. I guess I'm not questioning it. You know, I've, I've considered the uh, the repercussions of getting this bandage again, and I decided not worth it. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Ugh. Okay. Uh, oh, that's the level. Oh, there you go. Okay, well... I don't know, I'm, I'm a little... I, I think this episode might have actually already gone a little long, but you know what? Let's check out the level. Let's check out the boss. Okay, well, we're just gonna ignore the implications of what my little brown compatriot is made of here. And he's running too. Do I need to beat him? He can't kill me. Which is good to know. Ugh, but the salt can. Okay. I mean... I'm gonna assume I have to beat him in a race, because otherwise he's... I'm probably just gonna die, because otherwise why have him? I assume that he's not here just for flavor. 
a nice of him to slow down there for me. Uh, I am not winning. Come on! Uh, no! Oh no, maybe he's sort of like a timer to indicate how how long I have until the salt gets me. Okay, well, I'm beating him right now. And now I'm dead. Okay. I think I can do this. This this seems doable. I think I can do this this episode. Okay. Up, up, up. Dead. Damn it. Okay. Up. And down, and over, and across, and jump, and jump, and up, and over the salt, and over this salt. No, not over that salt. I think clearly the issue here is not that I'm bad at the game, but that Super Meat Boy clearly just doesn't follow my commands well enough. If you just listen to me. <sighs> okay. That one I can't blame on anyone but me. That was just pretty silly. Not that the blame it on Super Meat Boy complaint was holding any water with anyone, but... Okay, just... Ugh. Okay, up and away and over... No! Sweet salt, take me. Deliver me unto oblivion. Okay. <laughs> okay, well... That was a fast one. This time. This time I can feel it. We're gonna do it this time. I feel it in my bones! In my super meaty bones! Come on! Oh! I felt it too much. I, uh... I focus more on feeling it than, uh, actually surviving. Which, uh... Is necessary. Okay. Doing good. My finger slipped off the run button for a second there, but I think we're still doing okay. Oh no. Come on. Come on. I managed to get grade A plus on every level in the salt factory. I got a single bandage, so <laughs> I didn't get any warp zones. But I mean, I still I completed all the main levels, and I don't know. I feel pretty good. We completed the entire world in a single episode, so I call that a success. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh oh no, nope. let's not get too hasty about leaving this video. We still got to see where we're going. So, after the salt factory, we have hell? Alright. Well, that seems like a natural progression, right? I mean, you start in the forest, you get hurt, so you go to the hospital. After the hospital, you take a scenic tour at the salt factory, and then you descend directly into the depths of hell. Of, of naturally. I mean, it's just the obvious progression. So, we have that to look forward to, so thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun watching. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please like, comment, subscribe, sing random Christmas carols at the top of your lungs because tis the season to annoy your neighbors. Um, but above all, I hope you had fun and I hope that we will see you in the next video. Uh, Everyone knows you uh, can't get donations without the Oh! Up front! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm a pile of meaty giblets. <laughs> Was this blood here before? <laughs> no. I thought a piece of shit. Look, let's all give him an appropriate bur uh, burial in the fireplace. It's okay, guys. I'm Chammy too. Age. <laughs>